Hello friends and welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to learn how we can do face detection using python. This is the windows camera which detects the face of any human. So you can see the windows camera app can detect my face. You can see in a rectangular form. And here comes my version. My face detection software using python. So you can see it is detecting my face much more nicely than the windows camera app you can see this is the windows version and this is the my my version which we will um, create today hope you like it so be till the end of this video so let's get started So here we are on our computer screen. So to code this, we need to open Visual Studio Code or any Python IDE suitable to code multiple lines of code. And here you can see the code which I have already coded for you. You will get it in the description. And now I will create a new file so that I will show you how to do this. So I will mark it at test.py. The py extension is very important to mark it as Python file so that the Python interpreter can mark it as a Python file and recognize it. To recognize our face, we need the module to be installed which is OpenCV. So to install this, we can go to terminal or command prompt and type the command pip install python dash opencv and hit enter. It's going to install. You can see it's giving me some warning because my internet connection is off. Uh, if I will be connected, so it will show me that requirement already satisfied if, as it's installed. If you would not be having installed, so it will install on your computer. So now let's start the coding. So first of all, we will import the library in this file by typing import cv2. So you can see it's recognized that cv2 library is there in the system so it is with orange color disabled orange color because it's not in use and we'll create a variable video is equal to cv dot video capture zero so here this code in this variable it is storing the camera volume uh, value so means we need to use the camera webcam so if you type 0 in the curly braces so it will take the default webcam and if you type 1 2 3 etc it's going to take your external webcam so video is the camera variable and we will get the video from it So to recognize our face in a rectangular way we need a classifier which is a xml file you will get it in the description by clicking on the first link. So here we need to import the classifier so you can see this is the hard casket fontel face default.xml file which is too huge. This only helps us to recognize or this is the very important part of this project so you need it. So you can see it's also available in the description. So now let's go to our python file and import it. So here we will create a variable named cascade as it is a cascade and we will store the value of this cascade file. So we will type cv2.cascade classifier and the correct file name. So I know the file name so I am typing it. And at last make sure to type the .xml extension as it's very important. So this is the main part of this project. So now we will type or create an endless loop while uh, with giving while true. And we will start the while true loop and then we will give here two variables which will store the value or we can say it will read the um, webcam so you can see i have created two variable which is equal to video dot read so it's going to read the video as the video variable is the camera value 
so in new visual studio code if i type something which is matching from any module so it directly imports so it's going to make error that's also feature but disadvantage also so you can see how it happened now you can also remove that so now if we take the image so it's going to come in a gray color okay so to convert it into rgb value or rgb color we will create a variable name gray and we will give cb2 dot set uh, cb2 factor and we need to give the factor to the frame and then we'll type cb2 color bgr to rgb so it's going to um, set it to rgb color and then another variable which is face So here in the face variable, um, we have um, given a value that cascade dot detect multi scale, and inside that we have given gray means the gray variable which is used to convert to from gray to RGB. Then we have set the factor to 1.1 and the neighbor to 6. So the detect multi scale is used to create a rectangle using the uh, what do we say the cascade file means the hard cascade dot XML file. So now we will uh, give for x, y, axis and width and height in the face. So what we need to do for x, y axis and the width and the height of the face which will be detected in the camera. So we will give here a frame variable which will be cv2 dot rectangle. So you can see here in the up uh, for the camera value I have given check comma frame two variables so from that only one variable frame will be the rectangle which will change and detect its move and it will detect the face so you can see it's given cv2 dot rectangle inside that it's the frame and then i have given um, braces then x comma y then braces then x plus uh, width and then comma then y plus height and the color of any uh, color you want so that it would be i would like to keep it in cyan color and then it will be rgb value 255 comma 255 comma 0 and the uh, opacity or width will be 2 of the line so here the face recognition parts end now we will start the displaying part you can see i'm tapping displaying output part okay so how we can see the output of it so we will give here cv2.imso so you can see uh, cv2.imso is used to uh, what do we say to show anything in a window so here i have given the title abicoder creative mind and what do we need to show in that so we have given the frame variable so that it would detect and show that So now we will create a variable name key which will store the value of escape key, escape key or we can say Q key. So the wait key time will be 1 second. Okay, cv2 dot wait key 1. If key is equal to equal to ODR Q means whenever Q key will be pressed so it will break the loop and the program will stop. So it's necessary to stop the program or else it will continuously run and it will be uh, we need to stop the terminal so that the program could stop by typing this what happens actually is it releases everything so we need to type a video dot release and the curly braces and down also we need to give cv2 dot destroy all window so that it will destroy all the windows whichever it's created using imso function okay so let me define what is imso and im read imso is a function which is used in cv2 to show the output and im read is a function which is used to take the input so it's input and the output im so is the output and im read is the input that's simple so that's it friends but here is still an error i will show you how we can do that and we will also make whenever the q key will be pressed to end the function so we will give print thanks for using so it will give thanks for using and you can see it is showing me an, an error because i have given a uh, same line i am so two times in the inside while true loop and outside of while true loop so let me just remove and then i will come back to you 
so you can see now guys the input in the i am so window and the title is window uh, means video as we have given and you can see the camera is working it's detecting my face only and not in my face only it can work on any human face so now let's see it can also work on any human face such like i will show you uh, with an example i will just open uh, human photos in the web browser and i will just try to detect it and let's see if it detects the face or not so the code is same and you uh, you will get it in the description or you will get in a google drive link or you can also get it in my website so actually my internet is not working so i decided to show uh, the uh, processor my image only which is available on my mobile so you can see it's also detecting my face in the mobile and it's showing me that it's a uh, human and it's also uh, detecting my face in real time it can also detect any face of human so that's a very really great and interesting project hope this project would be helpful and very very informative for you but now you can see he throw an error and stop actually it's not an error it's a function of cb2 which said they tells that it's the function has stopped which looks like an error which doesn't look good so we can also do one thing that we will uh, type here cap underscore d show so you can see uh, the new visual studio code automatically up uh, means updated and it given from cv to import d show cap d show so if you don't want to import that so you can just directly give cv to dot cap d show okay like i have done and now let's run and whenever we will terminate the function is going to print only the thank you not the error message so you can see it's doing and you can see it doesn't give me an error message and it then thanks for using so that's what different how we can create this if this video is helpful then don't forget to click on that red, red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get all my videos notification i usually upload all the contents of ai and programming related to web development software development uh, ai intelligence and data science so you can see this was a, pro a product from our data science project using cv2 and in future i am also going to bring another playlist on this and we will also detect our faces and we will give like some of like my id as abhinav and it will recognize my face as abhinav if i give face of any other with uh, uh, suppose we give a face like sam so it's going to detect particular that face only as sam and if un, uh, any other unrecognized face comes so it will recognize it as unknown and it will print unknown which is very very interesting and this is the feature which machine uses to recognize its owner so hope this video would be helpful for you till then take care bye bye